being bad at the pizza parlor. Lol, my son's like now. That's silly. That's a naughty parent, guys. If you also thought that was a naughty parent, make sure they know by hitting the like button. Believe me, it's probably the funnest thing that we're gonna be doing this video. We're gonna start off fairly embarrassing, but then we're gonna work our way through as we go along the video actually to quite a serious topic towards the end. So buckle in your seat belts and your gaming chairs and let's have a look and ride this roller coaster of a video. Parents, am I right? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with it? I take it back, for real, I really do. I know I've given a lot of mean opinions about Gen Z kids. I take it back. Us millennials are far, far fucking worse. I mean, in this video anyway. What kind of monster does that? Like, even as a joke, right? Like, the scream at the end, bro. Like, that's sad. <laughs> mean with the caption i hate to see my son happy i'm pregnant so i can't have any deli meat unpasteurized cheeses and definitely no alcohol yet yeah, no raw fish <laughs> he's pretty cooked i'll just have a small glass of wine and a little charcuterie is that how it goes she does realize it isn't just the first pregnancy in which you have to be careful with those types of things. It doesn't suddenly progress and suddenly get better. Oh, but your third kid, you're completely immune to those awful, evil Alka Pops and sushi. Eat away, go on, eat away. I've, I'm actually like baffled at this video. Like the, the, the amount of stuff I'm seeing online for these types of videos is like literally awful. I know we're like looking at the worst parents on TikTok and, and these have to be the worst. And somehow guys, I guarantee you, and I already, well, I already know for a fact, the fucking videos get way worse, like way worse than this. I, how, how can they? But they do. Emmy's into the stage of breaking cigarettes you know, the, na the natural progression of your kid's childhood. Their first baby hairs come along, they can walk, breaking cigarettes, then they say their first word. Mum, give us a fag. She done got my pack and broke all of them, but one. Probably smoked the last one. Honestly, like, judging by how stressful it is to have parents, these parents, would be surprised if they f***ing smoked it. With the top comment being, love that stage, girl. Here is just your average year seven kid vaping. Does he have his own like TikTok account? How did he, <laughs> how did he upload this? It's like hard to know whether or not I should make fun of this, have a little bit of a giggle or generally be concerned. I feel like all three of those motions are pretty reasonable responses to have. The only way that would be acceptable is if that was Hasbulla. And I don't think it is. They're the same height, but I don't think it is him. Just your average crypto dad. All right, guys, I have two cats and I will say this. If your cat is being a better parent than you, there is something seriously wrong with your parenting. I like the cat's face as well at the beginning, the, you know, the actual look that the cat gives the dad who's laying on his back right now, just chilling. It's all right, mate, don't worry about it. Snuffles has got this one. The cat is like looking at him like, bro, fucking do something about your own child. Even the cat can't believe it. How I keep my gamer son hydrated. 
When my son's so fussy and doesn't like the taste of plain water, we found another solution, water cooler and prime. Prime is really hard to come by in Australia, so with the help of the retail correction, we've got a huge supply and he is loving it. With the school holidays, he doesn't even have to go out of his room to get a drink. School holiday fun. Oh, fuck it. Fuck off, bro. That kid screams at his mum. I'm just saying, that, that kid kicks cats, strangles dogs, swears at his parents. Look at him. That is the kid that swears at his parents. I wanted that icy pop flavor, not tropical punch. I expect the next scene, something similar to the one in South Park. You, you know, the one where they play fucking World of Warcraft, they come down, Eric's mum has to hold a bucket as he goes to the toilet. And just I'm expecting that to be the next TikTok. Update on my little son. He's refusing to go to the bathroom. So I'm um, having to take care of that, my little angel. What? <laughs> you may not touch my belly button. That's my body and I don't want you to touch it that way. Oh, fuck off, bro. My girl straight up try to cancel her own baby. And listen here, little Jason, I, mommy didn't consent to you touching her. That's a big no-no, you don't do that, okay? Mommy didn't say that was okay. That's technically <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with these parents? Yeah, you may touch your own belly button, but I do not want my belly button to be touched, okay? No. Yes, I am in charge of my body and you are in charge of your body. And right now, I don't want my body to be touched on my belly button. Oh my God, you little shit. That's it. Mummy's gonna cancel you on Twitter. I know I make this joke frequently when I say, what, was he just born like two minutes ago? But I, I think he generally was born just two minutes ago and he's already been canceled. That is, that is the world we live in right now. Could you imagine just overhearing this conversation? No, no. But his name's like Braxton or something. No, Braxton, mummy didn't consent. Yeah, okay. So you, you can touch your belly button because that's your body, but I don't want my body to be touched right now. Yes, okay? Oh, really? Do you want your bottle? Let's I'm trying to cancel something that is literally gonna shit itself every like five minutes. Like, <laughs> oh. oh my God. You can wheel, yeah, Junior. What does the wheel have to do with the brake? Shit! Calm down, mom. Calm down. Hold up. Hold hold that thought, guys. Hold what you're about to say. Did she really say that's what I get for listening to you? What what was his idea? Hey mom, I don't want to be really good. You should play VR while you drive. That like that would be epic. Like you should play Fortnite while you drive. Tell me that would be cool. But like parents are really you're supposed to be there to really set the boundaries and put your foot down on the brake as a metaphor for stopping this type of behavior. I don't understand what the fuck is wrong with these people. And she actually gets mad. Couldn't you see I'm on my VR? Oh my god. Just break right in front of me. Why don't you? Ugh. Nice going. Honestly, great I fucking idea, you idiot. Yeah, that's the kid's fault. The first day of first grade. Turn around and say hi, baby. Hi. Are you excited? You are? <laughs> my big girl's in a first grade. The f you. How f day <laughs> great look at you you look beautiful today you look gorgeous my girl you have a good day you want to be smart and be friendly with everybody okay good say bye bye For those of you who think it's not that big of a deal i was with you at first but after finding out that 33,000 people saved this video, why? Okay, I'm generally worried for the child. Why are there so many people saving a video of someone's child to their gallery? That's a bit fucking weird. Along with that, someone made a comment about the school's name being in the video. And someone replied to that comment saying something about how they are going to find her and do things I can't. Okay, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. At first glance, it's not a big deal, but when you go to the video and look for 
through the comments, it only gets more disturbing. And I will say this, I feel like I, I don't really understand why these people put their children on social media. You, you know what I'm saying? There's really no need to do that on your personal Facebook. Go for it, right? But I feel like posting it on like Instagram and TikTok for like videos, likes and clicks. I don't understand why. And you'll see in the last video, like I said, it's gonna get pretty serious in this last clip that I'm about to show you in a second. It does get very disturbing because there are parents out there that not only do these types of videos, which sure on the surface, like this person said, it's not really a big deal. And I guess to some extent it's not particularly, but when you start sifting through those comments, it very quickly does become a big deal. Look, there's a lot of weird people out there. Seeing even some of the content that I've seen on TikTok, I would not be okay or comfortable to post my child. I, I mean, I barely post anything to do with my own personal life online. I just feel like you got to make that bridge between personal life and your online sort of, I guess, persona. I mean, I act the same, but I'm just saying, I, I don't want to put out exactly my location or my relatives. I I'm just not going to do that. And for good reason, I feel like these people should do the same. From the video, you know the way she takes to school where the school is, the grade, what she looks like. From the TikTok, you find their house, her name, her birthday, how parents look like, their names, which bus stop she uses, layout of her house, how to get in. So basically you can figure out, okay, <laughs> you can figure out where to pick her up when she's alone, what to call her and what to tell her to convince her to go, such as using parents' names, school addresses, details from her house. All this info is given by the mother. And that's extremely worrying for obvious reasons. I don't know if anyone's ever seen any of those videos that have been surfacing recently, the ones that people people that literally almost speed run from a single image on Google Maps. And they are scary close to figuring out the exact locations of particular places, let alone when they have a few weeks to try and think about it. Like it's actually nuts. It's actually crazy. And in this video here, I couldn't imagine it would be too tough. I, like, I just don't understand why parents are doing that. Now, like I said, this last video, it actually does get a little bit more serious towards the end here, but I feel like it's very much needed to put in this video because it sends a good message towards the end. And I feel like it's just, you know, straight up important. So here is one account I explored before. Here's the subscribe button in which you can subscribe for exclusive access to a 13 year old girl. And here is the link in which you can go and buy gifts via an Amazon wish list. You can send a tip because you just want to, you know, support the work they are doing. Or you could go check out their YouTube channel, which has videos like this. So you guys pretty much get the gist of it. And I actually find that vile, like straight up vile. It's disgusting. We talked about in this video and there have generally been a lot of bad parents in here, but maybe some of them are just a little bit naive in the videos they make and they think it's funny for a click, but actually straight up exploiting your kid for money because at the end of the day, let's be honest, it's not the kid themselves setting this up. It's very much the parents doing this. Who do you think is recording them in the first place? And I've seen this girl's videos before in which she exploits these types of people and good. I don't know why these types of things are up in the first place. I thought YouTube was a little bit better with this, taking down stuff. It really sickens me because I just get the feeling that you don't actually love your kid if you're doing, if you can do this to them for a little bit of money, that kind of proves to me that you really don't even love them because how could you pick money over your own kid? I don't even have a kid. I have no children, but even I could see that I would never do such a thing because it's again, it's just vile. Why would I sacrifice my kid's safety? And I'm sure a lot of you would agree on this for some money. I want some creep fucking hitting the subscribe button. Like that's just fucking disgusting. Only imagine what the exclusive content looks like. And this isn't just like a few accounts. There is a whole ring of parents doing this to their little girls. Some selling monthly subscriptions as low as $129 a month. Others charging more premium rates like $12.49 a month. And it goes on and on and on. And from what I've seen, all of these girls are 13 and under, some under 10 years old. It really worries me to know the people that are actually subscribing to this. Like, is there even a law against that? Because I guess that this 
I guess it's the parents that consent for this, but is that really even legal? Is that allowed? Like, could the police not see who subscribed into this? Again, I don't really know when it comes to this type of stuff. This is a very new and recent thing that I've just been finding out. So I hope that they can find the people that subscribe to this type of shit because in hell they have a clearly mentally ill it's just disgusting because it's not even like just subscribing on normal youtube these are i feel like more explicit types of websites that they're subscribing and she just mentioned the age in which they are i think at this point we all know who these subscribers are the account of the eight-year-old whose parents are offering subscription 44 percent male 13 years old almost 64 percent male another 13 years old 73% male, and look at the age breakdown. And they proceeded to get worse. Almost 85% male. Again, look at that breakdown. When I say the exploitation of children is out of control, I fucking mean it. Honestly, just disgusting, but I feel like it was important to put it in this video because again, I know there are a few parents that watch this type of stuff who this would probably make quite angry and rightfully so, it's disgusting. But even if you're just gonna put content out there harmlessly of just your kid, always definitely like give it a second thought. Don't just post stuff on the internet because you can. Like even that other video, I'm sure the mother probably just uploaded that innocently, but the consequences of that could be devastating. 33,000 people to save that video. That's not normal. And that is disgusting. But anyway, boys and girls, this has literally been the worst parents on TikTok. I'm not joking when I said that. All in all, just disgusting. And I feel like every single one of these parents should absolutely do a better job of raising their kids. That's coming from someone who doesn't even have a kid. So that's a pretty bold claim to make. But anyway, boys and girls, apart from that, I hope you are having a fantastic day and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.